we have partners from the Netherlands, India, Greece, Do we have Australia joining in? We have Denmark as well. We have Ukraine. Almaty, Kazakhstan and Russian Federation. One minute and we will start. Today's session will be quite quick and prompt. Well, 11 a.m. Moscow time shop and we will start. Can you see my presentation? So everything is fine and we start. Good day to all of you. Welcome again from myself, Ivan, financial GDI. I am the project manager of Smart Portfolio. I am a certified psychologist and expert in active sales for over 11 years. And since 2014, I've been investing. And today I can afford to live on passive income. In 2012, I learned about Bitcoin. I even tried to trade, but the experience was a failure. And uh, then I realized that I'd better be an investor rather than a trader. It's much more profit making and you feel more comfortable. And quite recently, I became a project manager of Smart Portfolio for our company. And today, we will talk about the composite investment instruments and you will learn a lot of new information. Well, let's start. Look, when a new person opens the world of investment when he only learns that he or she can invest and get some yield before he was employed and he thought that money could be paid only there. But whereas he or she starts learning more about investment opportunities, he is bombarded by tons of information. He believes that he will get money, but only gets a lot of information. And you may be confused as a stranger, what to sell, what to buy. In crypto market, there are dozens, hundreds, thousands of different coins. And of course, there are some fraudsters and different financial pyramids high yield investment projects offer fantastic interests and returns. And many people are lured, unfortunately, and lose money. And they lose money by entering into failing deals or investing into unknown coins or shares of unknown companies. And the experience suggests that if a person doesn't learn, is not trained and simply invest, invest at random, it is destined for a failure. Uh, failure. And today we will discuss how a new person may have a good start in the world of investing. And the person who only starts has a choice either to sit down and start to explore some single investments, I mean specific shares, or cryptocurrencies, or he accepts some composite investment products that already include a set of investment opportunities by mitigating his risks this way. 
Well, next slide, please. And there are different ways or different benefits of each one. Next slide, please. So the first of all, these single investment instruments may generate high yield compared to composite ones because shares of Apple, Tesla may go up abruptly because of some important use and some companies that are not well known but quite promising but you must find them and study them on the other hand on the other hand composite investment instruments have guaranteed lower risks since the composite instrument includes or is composed of several shares or some instruments in case there is a decline or a failure of one specific area, other domains will actually mitigate these losses and your investments, they will not allow your investments to decline a lot. Let's move on. Then there is a wide range of opportunities offered by single instruments. There are a lot of companies, shares, stock. If you start, there is a lot to choose from. And you are to explore and either to specialize in the specific market domain or etc. On the other hand, composite instruments, by paying less, you get um, higher market coverage. I will show you how. By making one investment, you get in its composition a lot of different investments. Thirdly, the substantial result of these single instruments could be reached faster. Since these are single instruments, you must enter it at the right place and at the right time, and the result will be obtained quite soon. Whereas composite investment instruments aim at uh, longer term work, gradual work, and these are the instruments which are medium or longer term run instruments. And I believe that if we compare it to the construction of a building, so the composite investment instruments are the foundations, whereas the walls and the roof are the single instruments from the holistic to the specific to the, to the specific elements so first of all we are to explore the common the general concept whereas afterwards we start specializing next slide please one of the easiest and simplest composite instruments is the stock index and it is a composite index calculated on the basis of the prices of a particular group of securities. So the companies in, in line with some criteria are selected. They are not selected because of some preferences or wishes of some people, but in line with the market indicators, such as market capitalization. Market capitalization is the value of the company, its stock, its place in the market so the whole market is 100 percent whereas one company company's share of the market is 10 percent meaning that its capitalization is 10 percent of the overall capitalization of all the other actors of the market and there is such as in index S&P S &P 500, you can explore it in detail on the internet, the history of this index, and it is composed of 500 um, stocks of 500 companies, Google, McDonald's, Apple, so any company, the US company more or less well known, will be included into this S&P 500. 
And this index is this way a reflection of the US economy in large, at large. As uh, top 500 US companies, they are the largest taxpayers, the largest employers, the largest suppliers, vendors, consumers of different resources, and etc. And accordingly, changes in the price of this index, changes in this index will be because of the changes in the price of stocks of each of the company. And look, assume that you have 500 shares of different companies. One share goes up, the other goes down. There is high volatility, intraday volatility, but because there are a lot of them, this index will go either up or down gradually. If the economy faces a crisis situation caused by the pandemic or some great depressions, such as in the USA in 1920s, in the 1920s, there was a financial crisis in 2008. Many companies suffered, but for some time, this index was declining, whereas it um, caught its pace and went up because the economy in general develops because the people on their own aim for development. And there are similar indexes in London Stock Exchange, Russian Stock Exchange, German Stock Exchange, and Japanese Stock Exchange. And if you buy these five indexes to your portfolio, you can find a company in your region that will provide access to it. It could be done either through banks, exchanges, or brokers. You can buy these five uh, indexes, and uh, all together you will have in your portfolio a total of 885 biggest companies in the USA, UK, Germany, Russia, and Japan. I will be glad to find out if you already have some of these indices in your portfolios. For instance, give me five if you have five of them. Do we have such people in our chats who invest in these indexes on stock markets or anywhere? I will be glad to get this information from you. Well, let's move on. Next slide, please. So here is an example of S&P 500 index, well known, and I tried as of the 21st of July 2021 to buy the 10 biggest shares of those companies included into S&P 500, and it cost me 700 7,500 US dollars to buy shares of top 10 countries. And if I buy this index, uh, so which include these 10 companies and another 490 companies, and I will need on this specific date 4,341 US dollars. You see the benefit of the index. By paying less, the coverage is wider. Not everyone can afford this investment, as in our company, we have partners of different financial standing. And I decided, but if to use a minimum amount, and on my platform, I was allowed to actually buy some parts of a share, decimal part. And all together, it would cost me 2,072, whereas you may start investing into S&P 500 from 43 US dollars. I believe this amount is quite affordable and comfortable for everyone to start your journey in investment world. And as the first commandment of a private investor suggests, uh, save aside 10%, and any person may register on the platform, which he finds convenient, and start with 50% 50 US dollars investment into an uh, S&P 500. Next slide, please. There are some other composite instruments, including mutual funds or exchange traded funds. 
So mutual funds and ETF, exchange traded funds. These are another two composite instruments which are made up by the anal by analytics analysis by by the investors of different companies so they're made up of investors money and is invested in various assets in order to generate returns so mutual funds and etfs are made up by the specialists of the companies they choose the relevant companies and identify the indicators. They are in a continuous process of selling and buying to balance the portfolio as such. So the mutual investment funds, you may buy them from middlemen or from corporations where the specialists of these companies at the exchange build the portfolio, where in case of ETF, specialists make up the portfolio and place it at the exchange. And ETF could be bought at the exchange with some single stock. Well, as such, literally, these are exchange traded funds and mutual funds are composite instruments, but they are bought in different places and they operate in a different way. If you are interested then in your regions, you can search for such companies and explore in detail how they operate. Whereas here we study the main concepts, the key concepts. Well, let's move on. Here is the chart of S&P 500, the largest composite investment instrument. And it seems that since there were no movement starting from 1872 to 1868, but the period is quite large. And if you take this specific, particular period, so there was 100% growth and almost every two years it doubles. It seems that it is quite wild but the growth is quite steady and in the next slide you see the s p 500 index the classical one with the price whereas below the same chart but it shows the mathematical changes in pricing not the actual price of the index but how it changes according to the period. And this way you see that in the long-term perspective, index has a steady consistent growth trend over 149 years. This asset is growing. And you see 1926, this is the largest crisis in the USA. And I believe that many people who studied history, quite likely you heard about this Great Depression. If you did, please put a plus in the chat if you heard or read the history of the Great De Depression. There are a lot of movies, books, and no matter how tough the economic decline is, sooner or later it recovers and it starts growing again. Let's move on. Now we will study the crypto market. And at the top, the graphs are quite, the charts are quite similar. There are sharp increases. But if you look the difference, so the chart showing the difference of the difference in changes of pricing. So this sharp spike shows and suggests that what we notice today is not the first skyrocket increase of Bitcoin price or crypto prices to these high points. And in 2017, there was a boom demand for crypto market and many people learned about cryptocurrencies and I learned about it as well in 2017. And you see that there was quite a long decline after 2018. 
And during this period, I actively studied and invested a lot. And how do you believe whether I feel fine? Whereas today, the crypto prices increased many times those prices when I learned about the crypto industry. And I can tell you that it is not the last up and not the last wave. There will be the follow-up decline and then the follow-up growth and it will continue. And I am hopeful that it will continue for at least another 150 years as crypto market is new, is young and it will develop long, long ago. So if you believe in the future of blockchain technologies, then you can invest into this market in a medium term, long term perspective, but you should do it in an adequate, properly way, starting from common concepts to the single one. Let's move on. So here I took the example of the S&P 500 index chart. So if a person started investing early, then in the crisis times, uh, that person would be making a profit even. You see, when it dropped to $30,000, and I learned about it when it cost 20. And then someone bought it at 3,500. So for someone, the drop from 60 to 30,000 is 50% decline. Whereas for me, the drop from 60,000 to 30,000 is simply reduced return from 20,000 to 10,000. But this is, uh, he's talking about Bitcoin, guys. I don't know why the S&P 500 is on the slide. So if a person starts investing when uh, uh, the stock or the coin is at its peak, and they might be losing money. But if you invest smartly, knowing what you're doing, and if you have a long-term plan, then for sure, over a long period of time, you will exceed your expectations and you will be making a profit. And as the history shows, 95% of the actively managed funds will not outperform the index-based portfolio over a long period of time. So we're talking about the long run here. So mutual funds and exchange trading funds, they work well on the in the short run they can grow and fall in the short run uh, very well and you can make lots of money on it but uh, historically or let's say uh, over um, a longer period of time indexes uh, outperform etfs and mutual funds and warren buffett in one of his interview said that he will leave uh, his money uh, to his spouse and uh, will um, have it all invested in indexes because indices is investments um, in, Amer in the American economy. Let's uh, look more into detail into the cryptocurrency market and see what's the, uh, how many we have of them. Uh, 11,602 and with the market capitalization of more than trillion, two trillion dollars. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, value of the stock market, you see it's a uh, hundred trillion, whereas cryptocurrency market is around two, three trillion dollars. So you see that the cryptocurrency market has still to catch up quite a lot of distance until they reach the stock market, which uh, opens uh, good avenues for us, meaning that lots of money will be injected or pouring, being poured in into this particular area. And in the long run, for sure, it will show very good growth. So just take a look. One uh, company, Apple, for example, has the same capitalization as the entire cryptocurrency market. So in order to buy 
all of the uh, cryptocurrency assets, uh, you need $2.2 trillion. Whereas for a person or a company to buy the entire Apple company, they would need $2.4 trillion. And I picked some of the uh, top companies capitalization wise and see what's their capitalization e you see the first um, i don't know uh, seven companies taken together several times uh, are outpace uh, or are bigger several times the entire cryptocurrency market and then we have other um company uh, we have some big players uh, big companies buying uh, cryptocurrency coins like tesla for example did you hear that then did you read the news that major companies start investing in bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general so what they do they take some of their money and uh, move money from the stock market and in part invest it in cryptocurrency you must have heard about it and it, it yet it doesn't work the other way around it's not like cryptocurrency projects start investing into um, conventional stock market okay now i would like to show you this uh, rainbow price chart of bitcoin and you can google it up yourself as well it shows you the ups and downs of bitcoin and you can see that currently we are somewhere in the middle, meaning that we can go both upwards and downwards. But if we go downwards, it will simply mean that there will be the opposite movement sooner or later. And I honestly would like this market to be as low as possible for as long as possible why do you think i want the market the cryptocurrency market to go down right now so give me your answer in the chat why you want why i want the market to go down yes correct i want to buy it low and that's why uh, i always expect the market to go down and the further down it goes the happier i am I buy when, it, when it's slow. And I would like you to understand as well that cryptocurrency market going down in uh, the long run is a good thing because you can uh, buy it low. But also, also you need to you know, differentiate. You need to be smart about what you're buying in order to make your portfolio as safe as possible. Also, please uh, note that the composition of the crypto mar market is changing. Currently, Bitcoin accounts for 50%, more or less, of the entire cryptocurrency market value. But other coins are gaining up on Bitcoin, on Bitcoin. like Ethereum is a runner-up. And several months ago, the altcoins that nobody really knew anything about started uh, gaining on uh, the uh, bitcoin and ethereum and uh, it is very difficult to you know be aware of all the recent developments so and as you can see on this chart yes bitcoin is still accounting for half of the entire cryptocurrency market then 99 more cryptocurrencies account for 47 percent of the overall cryptocurrency market capitalization and then five percent is the remaining eleven thousand cryptocurrencies so in other words top 100 cryptocurrencies account for 90 95 percent of the entire market crypto market capitalization so if you buy the first or top 100 coins you can consider yourself uh, as having a portfolio covering almost the entire cryptocurrency market, at least your portfolio representing the entire cryptocurrency market. But the problem is that this market is very young and is actively changing. And uh, since 2013, you see, I uh, picked uh, the 
top 20 over the period from, you see, 2013, then 15, 17, 19, and 21. Well, I didn't show Bitcoin because it always goes first, but since 2013, only two coins still are still in the top 20. What, eight years later? So, and they're not even in the top five, some of them. And, and those like... Uh, coins like litecoin are not in the top five anymore or ripple and some coins come other coins go but from 2017 only ethereum uh, has been uh, holding a sure second place but then again we had bitcoin cash uh, cardano on the uh, third place then in two three years another coin from the top 100 will be ranking second or third or fourth. So in this ever-changing market, in the long or mid-run, it is very difficult to find assets that would be a sure thing. And of course, we want our money to perform well. So Ethereum in 2015 was ranking fourth, and it Dogecoin, which appeared in 2015, and were it not for Elon Musk's tweet, tweet, it wouldn't be there, right? But the Binance coin uh, was in the top in 2019, although the exchange has been in existence for quite some time. Yeah, I think the coin appeared in 2015. Cardano, another coin that has appeared recently, and many, many other coins. And of course, I started uh, looking for a financial instrument like um, stock indices to invest into the market overall. And I found some uh, indices and they were very expensive. Some of them had the price of 100,000, others were 250,000 and I didn't have that money. And also I found other index-based portfolios created by companies specializing in index-based portfolio, but uh, they had some things that I wasn't really satisfied with. The um, market coverage was not very good, like 10 or 20 coins. Yes, promising coin coins, but not enough. And some portfolios were did not have sufficient flexibility. For example, uh, it was 10 coins, 10% each. Of course, it's good when you have 10% in each coin, in 10 coins, but I would like my portfolio to be more flexible and balanced. And uh, that's why I started to look for other solutions. And the, there are many solutions out there. And uh, there are many algorithms and bots and so on. And people come up with new instruments all the time. And it's very difficult to find a reliable quality instrument that would wor work fail free. And it would be easy for a user to work with it as well. And I was looking for such a fund and I worked out a, my set of criteria. So it should have the maximum market coverage. It should be liquid so that I could cash out at any given moment. It should be balanced or it should have the possibility for balancing because I would like to remove or add things into my portfolio. And balancing, by the way, is changing the composition of the portfolio in response to the market behavior so that I wouldn't have to take care of it. The program would take care of it for me then possibility on influencing the composition of the portfolio and the entry threshold should be affordable. It shouldn't cost like $100,000. Maybe some of you guys in the chat has $100,000 to invest into cryptocurrencies and give us a 100 in the chat. And I would like to meet you guys if you have $100,000 just to invest into cryptocurrencies. So I found myself a, an interesting solution, which is called Smart Portfolio. And its task is to put together and balance a crypto portfolio on Binance using the funds that the account holder has. But it can be any kind of money and it will be on your exchange account. And the exchange is responsible for the safety 
of your money. What the smart portfolio instrument does, it just manages that money. It uh, purchases, sells, it rebalances. Let's go next. So what does this service do? It's uh, about automated operation with the leading cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, using API keys. Why Binance? Because it's one of the biggest exchanges with the biggest number of tokens and with the biggest liquidity. And most of the users are there. And that's where this service, whole service started with. And other similar services uh, also work with uh, Binance and um, Huobi and um, OKEx in exchanges will be added to that uh, instrument as well by the maybe next uh, by the end of this year or early next year. And the money is always in your exchange account. You are not really giving it away to someone for them to man manage your money. No, they are always on your account. And guys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is not about trading. No leverage is going to be used. It's about purchasing, balancing, and holding. Yes, trading can give you better income in the short run, but it's about speculation and high risk. Whereas this uh, instrument is not about speculation. It's a uh, instrument for investing long term. And you need to understand that many people are saying we have alternative services, cheaper services, et cetera, et cetera. And then when you see what that service does, instrument does, it just trades or uses some kind of a strategy. Whereas this instrument is a totally different thing because I'm not investing into specific coins, but into the entire market altogether. Which currently account for 90, 95% of that market. So the strategy and advantages of using the service, of course, it's about accumulating top 100 cryptocurrencies in the mid and long runs, three to five years. If you want to buy this instrument, you need to understand that the cryptocurrency market can reverse its trend at any given moment. And the price from the current price, from the current levels can go all the way down by like 30, 40, 50%. Sometimes it can happen like as much as 80% reduction dec decrease. So are you ready to wait out uh, this um, period of decline because it happens. I invested into Bitcoin when it cost 20,000 and then it uh, rolled back to three and a half thousand. It's 83% decrease. It's minus 83% of my funds. So what do you think I did when uh, this, there was this decrease? I just bought more which eventually yielded me good results. And when you see an asset that is going down, all the charts are red and everything seems uh, bad. I think uh, you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't mean that the market will not recover and reverse its trend. And especially if you know why, the premise, why this asset should cost more, why cryptocurrencies would cost more, why blockchain technologies will become our everyday's life. And then you have, uh, you can be sure that no matter what ups and downs the crypto market faces, it will recover eventually and will go up any market, any company with long-term, let's say plans and strategies will be um, afloat no matter the current market conditions. And also, it's about 100% liquid capital that can be used at any given time. So uh, the money that you have on your Binance can be the fiat cryptocurrency money, can be cash out in any, uh, at any moment. One coin, for example, uh, shot up, you decided to take profit, you take profit, withdraw that money and then rebalance your portfolio. And that's it. And you can use the extra money that you earned. Also, you can uh, remove tokens from your list if necessary. If you think that uh, that particular token has no long-term 
promises for the period from uh, March 2020 to 21, uh, the cryptocurrency market grew by 600%. And if you used that instrument uh, using top 30 coins, you would make around 800% despite the 600% overall growth. If it was uh, top 50 coins, you would make around 90%. And with the top 100 coins, you would have made over a thousand percent return. And thanks to those back testing uh, I put it in here, you can make your decision. Of course, top 30 is a more balanced, more reliable. Top 100 is not uh, very much so because uh, the uh, lowest coins uh, can behave in any weird way, but it offers higher return. And now let's go into more details. So the cost of the portfolio, its service itself is 1,200 USDUs. You can buy that instrument in the crypto unit back office. And for that instrument to work properly, you need to have $2,000 on your Binance account. In other words, to ensure that you have and can operate this instrument, you need to have $3,200 to launch this instrument properly. Some people might say it's too expensive, but guys, compared to those uh, possibilities and opportunities that I saw in the market, uh, it's quite cheap. You know, there are, as I said, there are instruments with the entry fee of $100,000. So if you want to invest and when you start investing, you will realize that this is not such a big amount, especially when you will start making your first uh, profit. So what I did, I purchased this service and I'm not uh, giving any financial recommendation here. I take uh, 10 to 50% of my income and I invest it into crypto on a monthly basis according to the eight rules of a private investor. And in here, we have some very interesting materials. So this product, I would like to point it out, is uh, suitable only for people who have a verified Binance account. So if you don't have a verified Binance account, don't buy this product because this instrument is not for everyone. You should properly assess the uh, relevance of purchasing this product for you. So if you have a verified Binance account, then you can purchase it. And if you are a newcomer and you don't have the account yet, go register, verify, and you can use it. If you are a professional experienced trader, a specialist in the market, then maybe you will be able to put together a better portfolio than this one. But if you can't use this instrument because you need to have a Binance account after all, and it's just an instrument to buy, rebalance, and hold. It not, does not yield you an active income, and it just helps you not to miss out on the opportunities offered by the overall cryptocurrency market growth. And there is this uh, story about Samuel Brennan, who was the first millionaire in California during the American gold rush of the 80. 40s and 8050s and he became a millionaire because he was selling shovels and tools for miners two miners prospectors so uh, read about him and you'll see that you can make way more money on the promotion of this instrument rather than using this instrument and you can uh, have lots of money from uh, selling the metaphorical shovels to the miners who would like to make money on the growth in the cryptocurrency market. And unfortunately for Belarusians, me including, for now, this instrument will not be available because Binance in the near future will uh, deactivate API keys for non-verified users. And uh, in October, I won't be able to use that tool anymore. And uh, Belarusians, uh, American nationals won't be able to get um, verified on Binance and other countries in the sanction lists.
So some users won't be able to use that product, but you can use uh, another offer opportunity, which is to promote uh, this particular instrument and make good money on it. So this is what would have happened if you used that instrument a year ago, you would have invested 1,200 into buying the instrument, you would deposit you would have deposited 2000 on Binance and your overall investment uh, contribution would be $3,200. And you would have um, the overall result of uh, $20,000 in one year, maybe 18 or 17. So guys, 3200 to turn into one year and a half into 20,000. Is that a good result? Yeah, it's a good result, yes. And is this result worth 3,200 or even better 1200 which is the cost of the instrument and then the rest of the money is on your binance account and you can uh, do anything you want dispose of that money in any way you want you can deposit more you can withdraw and for example if the market is going down you can buy more you can still buy cheap then the market uh, reverses its trends you can take profit and withdraw some of the money so you will always have this option available Well, is it possible to get more by paying less? Please tell me if you would be interested to learn about the composite investment instrument that includes all the composite investment instruments mentioned above, including stock market indexes, mutual funds, ETFs, and cryptocurrency index. So there is even more composite investment instrument I like, which includes this index cryptocurrency portfolio top 100 cryptocurrencies. It includes DPOS mining, over 100 stock market shares under professional management, including mutual funds, real estate, equity in business, franchising, educational and marketing company with over 1.5 million customers, which is included into one composite investment instrument, and that is global investment portfolio. This is the digital share, tokenized share, registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission of the USA, generating four types of income, including staking, loyalty program bonus, bonus profit, and there is a potential for the share price growth. This is another medium-term or long-term perspective investment instrument. And this uh, asset is frozen from one to four years. So as of today, you may still buy it at 80 cents, whereas quite soon the price will be one US dollar. And it's forecasted value subject to the relevant conditions to be met in line with the business plan. There are some estimates and subject to meeting these conditions, the price of this asset will be 1,250 US dollars. So with the condition that the value of the portfolio should be 100 trillion US dollars and 1 billion users, then the value of the world CIU token will be 1,250. Whereas today you can buy this asset at one US dollar with a potential of growth up to 1,250. And look, this portfolio includes uh, top 100 stocks, mutual funds, and uh, top 100 cryptocurrencies, including Bitco Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
And please tell me if this portfolio, if Bitcoin grows in value, I believe it's quite obvious that it will influence the value of the tokenized share. And it is quite obvious that the shares inside this portfolio will grow. It means that the value of the portfolio will grow. Yes, there are some declines, but this portfolio, apart from stock assets and crypto assets, includes some other assets that may grow in value, including mutual funds and etc. And most importantly, this is only the beginning, the start of this instrument. It emerged on the market only one year ago when it was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States. And this is a legal financial instrument well regulated. And all this is under the regulation tough regulation and you can buy this asset and i'd like to stress it here that until the first of october you still can buy this asset whereas if i'm not mistaken afterwards you cannot buy it there should be a condition of the relevant education obtained to get access. It will be accessible only to qualified investor. You are to enjoy status of a qualified investor. But to my information, there could be some other conditions attached. Well, let's move on. Should I have the knowledge I have today? how I will act. It's not the financial advice, recommendation. This is my personal experience, my personal strategy. If I had 100 US dollars to invest somewhere, how, what would I do as of today? I would, first of all, buy the global investment portfolio. Then I will buy CIU tokens and stake them to mine because compared to, the, to today's world CIU's value, they may increase 100%, 100 times and it will be the liquid asset. Today, CIUs are undervalued by those people, not the market, by those people who in due time received a lot of them, whereas new users do not understand all the benefits of this asset. Then I would invest into Bitcoin, Ethereum, with the purpose to retain them for five, 10 years, up to five at least, so that to earn the maximum yield on its growth and to multiply my capital five, 10 times. Then I would invest in stock indices, and eventually, quite possibly, I would get 3,000 and a half US dollars, and then I could afford smart portfolio cryptocurrency index. And from three to five years, accumulation stage of assets. Look, I imagine a situation that I am deprived of all my money, all my accounts are closed or stolen or taxed. I'm, they are seized and etc. So what will I do if I have 100 US dollars monthly? Then within the next three, five years, I will accumulate my assets. So monthly without keeping an eye on the current value because I know that the stock and crypto market will be growing and the yield re retained or generated, I will redistribute into different other instruments, including gold, real estate, government bonds, and etc. And profit trading is a maximum of 30% of capital gains, with the rest to be reinvested in other instruments so that they continue working. And it would be my strategy in case I were short of money. But in case I had at least 10,000 US dollars, as this is some starting capital, I will invest 20% into world CIU for a long-term run 
to mine and to expect for the price to grow. Another 20% I would invest into CIU as they enjoy a very high li likelihood of 10 times growth within a mid-term perspective in case there is some use or the situation changes for a large, huge company, one, two positive news may have a good impact and increase the price rate. And in parallel, you may actually increase the number of UNTB's mines with a high potential of growth because of crypto unit blockchain development. Well, the next one is 30% to be invested into smart portfolio cryptocurrency index. And this investment will cover all my demands in crypto market. So world CIU is a tokenized share. CIU is the token which may shot up quickly and crypto smart portfolio cryptocurrency index covers 95 percent of the market and meaning that i penetrated the entire crypto market and then on a single way i can deal with some single deals or single proposals i would invest another 30 percent into stock indexes for a steady growth those five indexes i mentioned above and within the next one, two years, I would add up another 50 US dollars. And when I have a good yield and a return, I would re re redistribute this return into more sustainable instruments. And having this starting capital, seed capital, I would earn uh, this result much faster within one, two years. only actions lead to results no matter how deep you study and explore until you invest in practice you will get no result neither positive nor negative investor is the one who is responsible for his yield we take a risk of losing and by taking this risk we are rewarded by the market and if you approach this with your uh, cold minded head and you will explore and learn a lot like myself i bought a course of mlci pro uh, invest consultant marathon 260 master profi so it opened my eyes and actually opened a lot of opportunities so therefore, please practice these skills in practice, but only after profound exploration and studying of everything. Well, quite recently, I had one insight. You know that quite soon in Dubai, there is crypto expert I wanted to attend as well. And I looked for the partners. I found one company and saw that it publishes articles on blockchain and other tokens. And I found one article about one token blockchain that is good for business. The speed is quite uh, fine. And actually, I thought that it is a promising token. And when I went to my index, it is number 38 in my top 100. And I don't know whether the company will develop. I'm not giving any financial recommendations. But since um, my I have my top 100, I decided to check whether it is there. Yes, it is already there. And here I understand that I haven't studied the prospects of the companies, but their tokens are already in my portfolio. So this is the idea of this instrument. You save time. You have 95% coverage of the market. What is the order of your procedures? You register an account at Binance. You sign up, verify, top up, create API keys. Guidelines are available in all the languages at the Binance Exchange website. You register in Everage, or if you have your back office in Everage, you then top up. 
if you don't have, then get a link from a person who invited you to visit this webinar, and he will help you to sign up. You top up your back office, you buy this service, go to the Smart Portfolio personal account, connect the API keys from the exchange, configure the strategy, and click to start the portfolio, and it is done. So here is the back office the personal account of smart portfolio service you simply indicate your code your key press save then you go to this slide must be corrected give me a second please Look, you go to your to a different tab, exchange, and at the top smart portfolio, you may stop the service, recalculate the portfolio, rebalance it, or choose a strategy top 100, top 50, top 30. And in the settings, you may choose, select which tokens should be included or excluded you may set up rebalancing and it looks like this i will show you here 7 14 21 you may delete some coins and when the market is declining there are four th three strategies or options in case there is the market crash you may wait for the, for the next growth stage or in case of the specific coin, there should be no growth. But in terms of the market at large, there will be crashes, but sooner or later, the market will start recovering. Secondly, you may sell the portfolio and buy it at a cheaper price. And the third strategy is to accumulate within a long period of time and here in this slide actually my strategy was the accumulation while the market was crashing i was accumulating accumulating and eventually it resulted in the following over the entire period i was accumulating why because i understand that sooner or later the market will start recovery and i was sitting and waiting for the market to be crashing and people were asking at which price to buy it at five seven ten and actually i believe it doesn't matter so what matters is the time you wait and i actually reached my result and here is another example of the work of the service since the 16th of June 2021, investment deduction at Binance. So 6,591 plus service cost price 1,200. And as of today, uh, in this account, I have over 10,000 US dollars. But it was as of the 4th of September 2021. Only a few days passed and uh, I have in my account over 10,000 and investment period is 2.5 months and the capital gain per month is 8.7%. So if you take 7,791 at 8.69% per month with the capitalization, you will get in two and a half months, nine thousand and five hundred us dollars so you can actually estimate your yield and now i am ready to answer all your questions if any but actually we don't have it therefore i will answer only the first two three questions and then we will um provide this webinar room to other webinars. Look, 
today the global portfolio is a risk long term risky long term instrument no our registration with the sec and the availability of such instruments in our portfolio as cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum stock assets including um, stock of uh, promising companies mutual funds and real estate that we have in its composition yes in portfolio there are some risky investment instruments and it is composite one it is diverse therefore i would not call it risky i would call it under valuated underestimated yes it is not full but it is not risky i don't view it as risky so the risky one is the investment into some token in top 20. polka dot for instance there is no guarantee that there will be no malfunctioning and it is not regulated and no one can ensure the price of polka dot and on stock market there is some regulation at least yes alexey said it correctly that it is not balanced yes it's not balanced and this is its uniqueness because it is not shaped yet this global investment portfolio it is only two years of age so crypto market is of 12 years and it it is not clear where it goes and only 20 years after people started to understand what blockchain is and how it operates and what are the prospects only 12 years after the existence of bitcoin a crypto market today many people are more or less aware of it but you want the global investment portfolio to become balanced in two years but it has a lot of prospects ahead so the portfolio is to be balanced to mitigate risks yes it is the smart portfolio is balanced automatically to avoid some risks to mitigate some risks you choose one coin but one two months after you don't know whether it will be in top 100 or not and therefore the service actually builds instead of us 95 percent so after paying 1200 units in ciu back office could i get some advice if there are any issues yes the those issues related to the operation of the service this advice could be obtained but company does not provide financial advice the company will give you the knowledge you may take a training and quite recently there was a course fundamentals of blockchain it is for free you may watch this course answer the questions and win some tokens and at the same time, get the knowledge about the market operation. So there is a comment that the proposal is quite good and not from the point of view of investing, but I believe it is quite interesting from the point of view of money earning and who actually earned most on this gold rush. Those who sold shovels so therefore you know why i recommended this instrument to become a part of our global investment portfolio as it makes many processes automatic there are a lot of business processes and this service actually being a part of the global investment portfolio supervises that 90 percent of crypto market will impact in on the value of our global investment portfolio well if the market crashes then the value of world ciu will reduce as well but we have other segments but quite opposite in contrast if the crypto market develops and i'm sure it will then it will increase the value 
so the minimum 1,125. So the minimum entrance is 1,020 and the maximum 3,200. No, you got it wrongly. Look, the price of the service is 1,200 and you need to top up your account with another 2,000 at Binance to activate this service. So therefore, the minimum entrance price is 3,200. But maximum, if you want, you can top up as, as much as you want. The service doesn't care how much uh, money you have. He will distribute this accordingly. Well, we are really pressed for time. And next time, when there is a desire, we will focus more your questions and answers. Well, thanks a lot for all of you and may the financial power be with you. Bye-bye to all of you and stay blessed.